It's an absolute process that I think that you start well before they get her. You know, you're communicating with them and trying to help them get ready and developing that relationship. And that's why sometimes my assistant coach, who's my recruiting coordinator, who does a great job, Kathy Jewell, she doesn't like me to go out and spend so much time watching the players who are already committed to Purdue. To me, that's the most important thing to let them know that just because they committed, they're not on their own. Okay. I'm still going to be there and I'm getting to know them by watching them play. And then obviously once they sign NASA or letter of intent, we can communicate with them. And once they get to a certain age, I can talk to them when tournaments are over and I can get on the phone and call them as they're driving home. Those things are huge. You don't spend your 80 days of recruiting that the NCAA gives you always chasing players. You've got to make sure that you're uh, building the relationships with those players that have committed to you and to your program. And um, it's always a lot more fun, of course, watching players that you've already got than going out sitting next to 15 other Division One coaches and trying to figure out how you're going to get the next one. But there's a, there's a, a blend of what you have to do. But I think it's important that those players become more and more comfortable before they get here. Otherwise, it is going to be a difficult situation for them when, once they arrive.